This is the 130th and Torrance grade separation project. Well, the need for this project is significant. Historically, traffic has always uh, been bottlenecked and delayed here. There are 52 Norfolk Southern trains crosses this intersection every day. The industries in the area were also affected substantially from transportation point of view. Their delivery, their completed product cannot go back and forth. So creating the great separation was needed from transportation point of view for the residents of the area, for the industry, and for the benefit of uh, the environment, of course. We are looking at a brand new truss, 394 feet long, 35 plus feet wide. It'll support two tracks for the Northern Indiana Commuter Transportation District, which runs from South Bend, Indiana, to downtown Chicago. The original design had this bridge actually on a skew. And as we got into the design, we realized that it may be a little more difficult to actually construct this. Some of the other complexities was dealing with the um, alignment of the track because it's on a spiral curve. And the railroads have a certain clearance requirement, so we had to make sure that it was wide enough and tall enough to get through that railroad clearance. And so therefore we squared it up and it became longer, but it actually was more cost effective. Well, typically a bridge like this would have been constructed in place with temporary supports, but because the railroad tracks go beneath it, that really wasn't feasible here. So it was built completely off-site, low to the ground, which made it safer for all the employees working on it. The challenge was we were not sure that there is a company who would be able to carry such a 4.3 uh, million pounds in one shot. So we coordinated with those companies. We did find that the industry has uh, technologically advanced substantially and uh, this was the clear choice. And you can see today it was built off-site. It was moved in two, three hours. It's in place on top of traffic uh, without any uh, problems. We had actually today and we had a weather day for tomorrow. So it was a very tight schedule. We had a day. <laughs> The SPMT is basically just a uh, heavy steel frame with uh, independent axles that rotate 360 degrees and also elevate up and down 18 inches. I was actually up by the approach spans, so I actually got to watch them as they fine-tuned and moved it into place on top of the bearings. The truss weighs 4,750,000 pounds. There are approximately 65,000 bolts it sits on two points. Each of the bearings that it sits on weighs over 30,000 pounds a piece. There are probably 5,000 pieces of steel in that structure, at least. Highly possible that this could be the longest and the heaviest uh, single span uh, truss bridge ever moved. The team as a whole was outstanding, all the way from the design and construction management out here, and our subcontractors just performed exceptionally well. The city uh, worked very closely with uh, Benesh. We have been very happy uh, with their uh, cooperation, professionalism, their technical ability, and overall their knowledge of uh, designing uh, railroad bridges. There's going to be six bridges as a result of this, not just for vehicular traffic, but for pedestrian, bike traffic, joggers, walkers, things of that nature. Today's an example for the community to kind of realize some of the benefits by seeing a significant a place and time in history with the installation of this historic bridge.